bum bum bum. Thinking what else to talk about. Um, oh yes, the hearts restore magic based on a percentage and not so much a number. So it doesn't matter. Oh, hello, peeping eye. No, you're not going to be able to attack him, sadly. But yeah, the hearts restore health or restore magic on a percentage, not health. There's not very many things in this game that restore health. Restores magic on a percentage. So even at say level 56 with uh, 500 magic, yeah, it's still going to restore same amount, same percentage of MP, same amount, same chunk of that in that magic bar on the screen. And uh, where are we? Well, let's just keep exploring. We'll just keep going until we find something interesting. Mm -hmm. You know what? I need uh, one of these zombie skills. Because you notice, know, some of the items we picked up was around me. Now, Soma's human. Guess what happens when he eats the around me? Yep. He gets poisoned. Or worse. Ooh. Becomes stronger when poisoned. This is a really, really useful ability. Poison doesn't work this quite the same in this game as it does in most other RPGs. Even other Castlevania games of, uh, of similar kind. Normally when you get poisoned, you know, your health keeps dropping. Every turn or in, uh, uh, in real-time games like this, it just, you know, keeps going down. Nope, not in this game. Poison just lowers your stats. A lot. You can go from hitting 60s on something to only hitting about, ooh, 20. Or one, depending on how high your stats are. But it doesn't do anything to your health. So getting poisoned? Yeah, we're not going to be getting that for a long time. Getting poisoned? Not all that bad. Just makes some uh, boss fights go a little bit longer. But with the zombie ability, nah, when you get poisoned, your strength goes up! Oh, and here we go. Hello there. Soma, you're inside Dracula's castle and killing things. You don't need to be scared. But yes, this guy is human. Graham. This isn't a shrine? And, yep, he really doesn't have any idea how, we, how he got here. And Soma's question? Is this really Dracula's castle? Uh, yes. Now, there is a little bit of backstory to this. Yes, Dracula's castle usually appears in Europe, in Transylvania, and yada yada yada. But, in this game, a little bit of backstory was that one of the Belmonts actually managed to seal Dracula. Which I think, yeah. Dracula perished in 1999. Now, don't ask me, I'm not familiar with that prophecy at all. You can probably look it up, but, uh... If you do, let me know, because... I'm kind of curious, but not enough to actually look it up. But basically, Belmont, who sealed Dracula, sealed up his demonic power, and the, this entire castle inside a solar eclipse. However... And 2035, someone new will appear and absorb all Dracula's power. And goodbye, Mr. Graham. Don't worry, we'll see him again. So yeah, Dracula's dead. Dracula's not the boss. This is a Castlevania game, and Dracula is nowhere in it. He's here in spirit, but yeah, no Dracula. Ah, these ghosts. Ghosts are annoying. They go through freaking walls. Now, oops. We can go up there, but at the moment, there's not really all that much we can get up there, so I'm just gonna put it off for now. Collect some monies. Oh, giant ghost. Giant ghost. Ow. Oh, good. 
I like that. Protective barrier. No, it's not going to protect us from really all that much. Some projectiles, but that's about it. For the most part, it's actually fairly useless. Why do I want it? Boss fight. Enough said. You'll know which boss fight it is, because I'll be equipping it. Yeah. Let's see, was there anything else up here? Yeah, true to a Castlevania style, true to Castlevania, these games hide stuff everywhere. I'm not kidding, they hide it everywhere. If you look at the room we were just in, yeah, there's a little corner in there that we didn't explore. We couldn't get there from that room. They hide stuff everywhere. And I'm getting off the path. Oh, jeez. See that plant down there? Yeah. That plant's evil. Um, but, uh, I don't have an attack that goes down yet. I can either use the skeleton's ability or the bat ability to hit it. That's about it. Unless I line up the winged skeleton. And that's another box door over there. Um, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. Why not? Oh, great. Manticore! Don't take chances on the Manticore. Whoops. Jump. Ow. Grr. Good news, you've pretty much already seen all of the Manticore's attacks. He spits fire. He tries to sting you with his uh, tail there. That's about it. And I'm out of magic. You wanna keep s trying to sting me there, Mr. Manicor? You can always tell when he's about to do any of his, at his attacks. He pretty much tells you as much. And I'm gonna go ahead and start flinging bones at him. Now, when you're out of magic to do an attack, and I just killed him. When you're out of magic to do an attack, one of your uh, bullet souls, you're not gonna do it. Not until you uh, restore your magic. Instead, you'll just pull off a regular attack. Which can get a little annoying at times. But I digress. Ow. Be careful when you're doing your back step. It's not going to protect you from everything. If you get hit while you're doing the back step, you still get hit. And your back step will be interrupted if you, say, go off a cliff. Oh, hey, another pencil. Come on. Tiny devil. Get down here, tiny devil. Ow. No, don't fly into me. I want to... Er, get back here. Get back here, Mr. Tiny Devil. That works, too. Just because I'm kind of OCD about collecting anything I can. Here's a new enemy. The zombie officer. Ow. He's got a lot of health. Let's see. Eh, let's go to a new area. We'll be back to explore the chapel a little bit later. What do we have here? Ah, the study. What's over here? That is a Durga. If you get hit by a Durga, she'll pretty much combo you as much as possible. You know what? There was a tiny devil over here. Ow. Come here, tiny devil. Thank you. Yes, I kind of want the tiny devil ability. It's useful. It is very useful. Student witch! Ow. Giant ghost. Student Witch. I really want that ability. I really want the Student Witch ability. I will probably be using the Student Witch ability... <coughs> Sorry. Probably use the Student Witch ability for a very long time in the game. Up until... Ooh, probably until we really investigate the underground reservoir. Can we get up there? No, we can't. 
But I'm gonna give that student witch one more try to collect her soul. Ow, don't hit me with your broom. Girl. If I don't collect her soul in this run, no. I'll collect it later. I'll try to do very little off screen just so you guys know I'm not farming anything. Which will make the uh, soul collection run. I'm gonna have to chipmunk that. Have we done everything here in the city? No! We have to go down here. Ow. That guy? You can't kill him. He's not even listed as an enemy. Nope, not an enemy. He's just there to hurt you. Giant ghost. Evil butcher. But yeah, that uh, little tiny skull that followed the platforms. Ew. Bad bone pillow. Bad bone. Whoa, that's a little odd. Last time I tried to collect this soul, it took me. I have a very long time to collect this soul. What's over here? Ah! Block puzzle! Kind of. We run into the block, we can push it. Push, push, push. Can we get still get up there? No! Of course not! Why would we? So let's push it off the edge. I'll probably be back to do this again. Follow it all the way down. Push it all the way over. Oh look, there's some more things up there to jump on. Can we get up them? No! Why would we? The game's mean. Why would it let us? Now, since this game really is an exploration game, there's very little linearity to it. You can go anywhere, but you kind of have to go to certain places before you can get abilities that let you go elsewhere. If you listen, that spider's shooting at us. If I let her shoot us, anyway. <clears throat> Sorry folks, I have a dry throat. Katevlo Pla... Whatever his name is. He's really not all that hard. But if you notice, from his soul he can... You can now cast a petrifying cloud into the air. There's very few, uh monster abilities that you get that don't have something to do with the monster's attacks or abilities. Like the ectoplasm, you get hit by the ectoplasm, you're cursed. Your magic is as good as gone. See? Mine's gone. So is my health. Um, I'm gonna use a potion there. I had no idea that was there. I didn't even find it in my first run. But now I got a melon. I'll probably be getting more melons from something else later on. Ah! No! Go away! Leave me alone! Freaking ectoplasms. Can't get up there. Ow. Yes. You can ride that thing. Keep attacking him. He backs up. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But I think we've made a good amount of progress for this run. Two bosses, a couple of areas. Let's see what we can find next time. <laughs>